Straight out to senior editor with In Touch Weekly, Tom O'Neill. He is standing by at Abdul's home. Tom, what happened? Well, Nancy, for the past few days, uh, neighbors have been telling police that there was this car, this suspicious car in the neighborhood, about 20 feet that direction, where now all you see is some broken glass on the on the pavement where police broke in to fetch the body at 6 o'clock last night. It seems that she had been parked here in the mornings. Uh, as of yesterday at 3 o'clock, her parents were very concerned about her and called police and said, where is she? She had had such a history of stalking Paul Abdul, they knew to come here, and at 6 o'clock last night okay, she was found, Tom, not just found dead, but in a shrine to her idol. Okay, what do you mean by a shrine to her idol? Well, as the uh, details you were saying earlier in this segment, in the taped portion, the car has a license plate with the letters ABL space LV, meaning Abdul Love. There was a picture of Paula hanging from the rearview mirror. This was obviously a really infatuated fan. When you say there was such a history of the intense stalking, what do you mean by that? Well, police said this afternoon that there were repeated incidents over several years and that the last incident they had direct in terms of a run-in between her and the law was in July. With us tonight, a very special guest. I'm sure you will recognize her. Andrea Evans from One Life to Live played Tina Clayton and stalking victim. Miss Evans, thank you for being with us. Well, thank you for having me. I'm sure that you are used to having legions of fans. Tell me about your stalking experience. Well, my stalking experience happened, uh, started back in the late 80s uh, when I was on One Life to Live, and a, a male fan saw me and uh, became obsessed with me. Um, originally started writing to me I and then showed up at the studio. I didn't make the connection that uh, he was the same person who had been writing to me. He was thrown out. And then the very next day, he appeared at the studio, and when I wasn't there, he slashed his wrists on the front steps and was taken to the emergency room where he used my name as next of kin, and from there, it, it really went downhill. <laughs> it went down from there? That's pretty low. Yeah, it is pretty low, and it, it, uh, the situation made my life very miserable for a long time, eight to ten years, but I'm happy to say eight I got my life to back. Eight ten so, years? Yes. So to, for me to recover from the situation, the situation was most acute for about two to three years and then um, it got so difficult for me to live in New York where I was living that I I left my job which I did not want to leave on One Life to Live and uh, moved and then spent many years trying to get my life back together which I am happy to say I have done. Tell me uh, Andrea what would he say in the letters? Um, a lot of his letters were written in blood they had swastikas on them um, just things like uh, death to the blonde whore, how do you want to die, questions like this. He was very much trying to take control of my life and, and my death, apparently. She actually quit her job, everyone, because of this stalker. You are seeing video of her in ABC's One Life to Live, extremely popular during her time on One Life to Live. With us tonight, Andrea Evans. I'm sure that you can empathize with Paula Abdul at this time. Oh, absolutely. That's why I wanted to be here. I mean, as somebody who has gone through a, a similar kind of experience, uh, my heart goes out to Ms. Abdul and her family and also to the family of of this young woman for how upsetting must it be as a mother I know if this were my daughter I would be incredibly upset 